Well, that's not what my basement stairs are supposed to look like. What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, uh, what's wrong with you, Mr. 30 Inch? You got the sniffles. And guys, I haven't seen rains like this in a long time in this area. It's kind of mind blowing if you ask me. Because every time it has rained this week, which is every single day this week, it's rained in the amount and at the worst time possible. It's usually been overnight. Now it hasn't rained since about 8 a.m. this morning and it's one o'clock. I feel like I should be able to mow these, but even with a push mower, I'm rutting my yard. And just to show you guys real quick what I am talking about, I'm just gonna step right here and you can just see the water coming out of everything. Like it's nasty, like there's, I can barely walk on this without just sinking through the ground. And all of my clients, I have a good rapport with all of them. I communicate as best as I can to the best of my ability. And that's something I wanna to preach to you guys in your business. Communication is key. And what I'm talking about in communication in a situation like this, the majority of your, con or the majority of your clients should and will understand the weather because they live here and they're dealing with the same weather too. So if your clients cut, say, on a Monday or Tuesday and Thursday rolls around and you still haven't had a chance to go there, even though you know in your head that they understand it's wet, there's flooding, my basement's flooding, everything's flooding, we're in a flood warning in this area. It's still good to communicate and relay the message of something like, hey, with all the flooding that's been going on in rain, expect delays in your mowing services. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Shoot a text message, shoot a call, shoot an email, just so that they know that you're still thinking of them and what needs to be happening and what needs to be going on in business. Sometimes it's not good just to let it carry on and just hopes that they know. Sometimes it's better just to put that bug in their ear and let them know that you are aware of the situation and you're trying to get to it as soon as possible. And we all get it. We all understand the weather, dude. We're at the weather's disposal. I've never seen the ground this saturated before, like to where it's this wet to where I can't even walk on my yard without tearing it up. It's been a long time since it's been like that. But yeah, guys, just as simple as just shooting a little message out there, letting them know that you are aware of the situation, you're trying to get it taken care of as soon as possible, just gives them a reassurance that you're on top of it and you're trying your best to get the stuff done. Just like for me, I'm gonna get everything done Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If there's someone that needs to be mowed Monday, I'm gonna leave it up to them. I'm gonna send them a message, hey, your scheduled day is for Monday. Would you like me to come back and mow it again, maybe at a little shorter of a distance? Or would you like me to go ahead and wait till next week and get you back on the direct schedule? Leave those open ends of communications of availability up to them on some of that stuff too. Cause some, you might have some clients that are just like, yeah, don't worry about it, man. Just come next week. You'll have some clients that need it done. Maybe they have a family get together. So it helps you organize your schedule uh, as far as latency of mowing, especially in weather. So if you can send those messages out on clients, say you have 40 clients and 15 of them say, Hey man, it's really hasn't grown that much. Don't worry about it. Skip it till next week you're gonna lose out on that 15 clients worth of uh, money you would on your regular schedule and maintain maintaining the property. And next time you come there, it will be a little bit taller, but it can also help you out in the situation to get all the things done you need to and get you back on that direct schedule. But yeah, man, it's all about communication. Uh, something I strive myself on in life and in business and anything I can. I like to be as communicative as possible. It helps me out and it helps the other people out that are on the other end of that line of communication. So yeah guys, just curiosity, what are you doing in your business? Are you sending mass emails as far as communication, notifying your clients of what's going on, even though the majority of them do know what's going on? As far as communication go, how are you guys sending those out? Are you doing mass emails? Are you doing text messages? I'm just curious. Let me know down in the comments below. And luckily down here in my little workout kickboxing area that we also have a little papa shot, this was all covered in water. There's just a little bit of a remnants left. I just sh actually grabbed the Milwaukee blower and just shot it down into my drain over there. But yeah, this is like I said, the most rain I've seen in a long time. My whole basement had water everywhere, but it's slowly being dissipated and disappearing. So that's a good thing. So yeah, guys, just a quick video on communication and uh, yeah, just relaying those messages, man. Cause as long as someone knows that you're thinking about them, they know it's being taken care of. They're not having to sit here and go, hey, I haven't seen anybody in three days. 
they know it's being taken care of. So guys, like always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm tired of sitting in the house, man. This rain's killing me. I want to get out on the mowers. I want to be making money, and I want to be making these yards look good. But man, it's just not happening right now. So praying that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I can get all this stuff done. The weather holds up, and we're back to just rocking them out, man. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. We'll see you in the next one. You can't say